Hi everyone, uh, this is Julie from TJ Craft Creations and uh, this is the fancy W fold that I was talking about. Yeah, so I'll just uh, share a tutorial or the way that I do it. So uh, this is this is how the card folds up and when you open it, it opens up and into and you can keep it in the shape of a W that's the fold that is inside and just put in some embellishments um, this is a very easy card to make it doesn't require many many die cuts uh, and basically you can just do it with whatever you have in hand so this is uh, this is the first card that I made and this is the second one uh, this was basically for my uh, friend daughter's friend and uh, I think this is super cute. So this is how it opens. So that's it. And yeah. So I'll just go over with the measurements of the card. Basically we need a, uh, first we need a base card, which is six by 12 inches, code at six inches. So this is the base card that we have. So just score it at six inches and fold the card then you require three pieces of cardstock for the matting layer which is uh, five three fourth by five three fourth square so uh, these are the these are the pieces of cardstock that's there then uh, you need a pattern paper uh, one for the outside which is five and a half by five and a half inches and uh, you require two pieces for the inside five and a half by five and a half so basically that's because the front piece is different and the inner piece is different if you want you can go along with the same uh, pattern paper uh, for all uh, sides but I thought it would look better if we you know if we had some difference when the when the card is opened uh, you require four pieces of cardstock uh, square two into two inches that's for the inside again and the pattern paper I have used uh, the same pattern paper as the inside and that is uh, one three quarters by one three quarter inch that's here and this is a long piece of paper which measures uh, 1 into 11 inches scored at 2 3 quarters 5 and a half and 8 1 fourth so this is basically what will give you the uh, the W shape so this is the way it would fold that is basically the half and then another half so that's the way we have scored at 2 3 quarters 5 and a half and 8 and a quarter so we'll just go, we'll just start making the cards. So uh, first we'll adhere the uh, the pattern paper to the cardstock, the matting layers. So I get my tape. I just run it around and uh, This is for the front of the card, so that's it. And uh, this one is for the inside. Uh, like so. So that's it. So I have my outside layer and the two inside layers done just keep them aside and then I will just put uh, the tape run the tape on the inside pieces just the cardstock and the mat here four piece four pieces of this done <coughs> And so we'll go ahead and uh, fix these on the card, on the base card. So that's here. So 
so that's the front of the card we open the card and uh, we will just attach these as well That's one side done. This is the other other side, the inner side. So that's a yeah. So that's that. Oops. And uh, for the insides, uh, I basically have cut out some some butterflies. Um, I used this punch to punch them out, and uh, I put in some pearl, some uh, blings on it. So just to make it look good, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and affix this uh, the butterfly on the uh, on the four pieces here and just give it a pinch from here so that it just stands up a bit. Yeah, so that's that's that. So we have uh, first the four pieces here. Uh, and now we'll come to the band. So this was the uh, piece of cardstock measuring 1 into 12, uh, 1 into sorry 11 uh, inches and it was scored at 2 3 quarters, 5 and a half and 8 1 fourth and uh, we just folded it. Now what you need to remember is uh, the fold, you fold it into half okay and then this piece you fold it on back on itself and this piece in the opposite direction so we get a a w or a m whichever way you see it so this is the w okay now <coughs> the you need to you need to be careful while sticking this part so uh, what i do is i'll apply i apply i'll run the tape uh, here and try and adhere this uh, in the center as much as possible and towards the end of the card and in the same way so this is it's got fixed now okay so this this is the way it will open now keeping it closed we'll just run the tape again and uh, and try and what we do is we will close the card on it okay so so when you open it the fold is ready so this is the basic card okay so that's the way uh, it would work i hope you can see yeah so now you can decorate it the way you want it well i said like like i said i went ahead and i've stuck butterflies on it basically because it had some butterfly patterns inside and uh, we just run the tape through the center of this one and I'll affix it here <clears throat> take the second one run the tape and try and affix it here Again, the same thing okay just do it here that's it and the last one that's just and put it here so 
the fold is ready and if you can see it's quite flat because I've not used any uh, foam adhesives or uh, you know the foam tape so that's why it's quite flat and I think you should be easily uh, it should easily uh, go across in the mail so on the front what I've done is uh, I die cut about four pieces of uh, cardstock uh, using this happy birthday die from Aliexpress and uh, I stacked them up together and um, I will just put this on it and uh, maybe a butterfly somewhere or I'm not very sure whether we need it actually yeah no I don't think we need it so we'll just let it be and um, that's it maybe I'll just uh, add some blings to it uh, i'll just put this up first so that after the placement we can uh, well i use liquid glue for this because it's much easier to wriggle it in case you know after you place it to decide uh, where you need to move it or whatever so uh, i'm just applying some liquid glue I love to stack up the die cuts because it gives you a raised dimension and it like makes the card look a bit more fuller than the normal just if you stick one die cut. Well uh, to let you know this card was inspired by a video that I saw that was done by uh, Jan B. She is an independent crafting uh, demonstrator and I absolutely love her videos. She's quite inspiring and uh, I would uh, I would ask you to uh, watch her uh, videos to get more inspiration. So uh, so this is what uh, this is my take on the on the W cards. Maybe I'll just add a few blings here and there sequences that we have. So maybe I don't know just maybe a few of them but yeah just maybe a few here and there So that's the card so I hope I hope you liked uh, what you saw and uh, you'll try to do some of these cards well as you can see these are the three cards that I made for um, uh, the W card you it's very easy to make and I think it's it's a fun way of uh, giving uh, something interactive to the to your to the person who is getting the card it's nice because the moment you open it and oh it's it's not a normal uh, card it's something that will speak out and uh, another uh, this another suggestion would be you know probably you add pictures here of the person or the family there or uh, happy birthday to you or I love you in a heart or whatever the, you can you can actually customize it to the occasion that is uh, that you're giving the card for so it's a nice way to uh, do a different card it doesn't require too many die cuts you can even do without any of these die cuts that are there if you have just photographs trim them to size and use it on the card because as you see it's all it's all about pattern paper and the matting of the paper so it's not uh, too much um, die cutting so i hope you enjoyed the card and uh, leave in your comments and uh, do subscribe to my channel thank you